day guys welcome back to the channel Arik here and for today's video we will be talking about how to hatch brine shrimp eggs and feed them to our betta fries a brine shrimp or artemia are good uh, first food for our betta fries during their first few days and they are nutritious especially on their first 24 hours after hatching and uh, for our, those who are planning to breed bettas, I'm highly suggesting that you invest in a high quality with good hatch rate brine shrimp eggs such as this OSI Pro 80 or also known as the Red Jungle brand. I've been using this brand for a couple of years now and getting good results. That is why I am also recommending this to you guys. So without, for, without further ado, let us proceed to the video on how we can hatch these brine shrimp eggs. So let's begin with the materials. First, our soda bottle, about 1.5 liters. The bigger, the better. Okay, then our salt. This is a rock salt. Don't use either salt. Okay, we also need an air tubing. This one, a juice straw that we can use as a rigid tubing. Okay, then of course, an air pump. Okay, and then a cutter, then our eggs, okay, brine shrimp eggs. Um, I'm using this brine shrimp eggs, OSI Pro 80, Artemia Cyst. Okay, it says here, okay, Red Jungle brand. I've been using this for a couple of years now, and it has good hatch rate, okay. now let us prepare our hatchery first let us get our soda bottle okay we will cut here we will um okay let's cut here there okay then we will use this part as the base to hold our hatchery this will be the hatchery just put it like this okay there so we have now our hatchery with a stand okay so I'm using the soda bottle this shape because it has smooth walling that will prevent uh, the eggs in the eggs from being stuck okay so this is a good choice for a hatchery so now let us prepare our air tubing first our straw let us um, let us cut the straw okay this will serve as our rigid tubing okay there then let us attach it to our to our air tubing there okay now we have our air host with a rigid tubing okay we need this rigid tubing to reach the bottom part of the hatchery okay like that now that we have our hatchery let us now prepare our brine shrimp solution first of course we need some water okay a little bit more then okay that's good okay after the water of course we will be putting our salt our rock salt um, what I usually do is I put a one full tablespoon of salt okay 
now set that aside now let us connect our air tubing to the air pump there then put it in the hatchery make sure that the rigid tubing will reach the bottom to attain good circulation proper circulation is needed in this setup so that we can maximize the eggs okay. they need um, constant movement in order to hatch what I usually do is first dissolve the salt before adding the eggs Okay, we can get something that, that can hold this hose into place. We will find that later. Okay. <laughs> okay, now when the salts are dissolved, let us now put our brine shrimp eggs okay let us remove it first then our brine shrimp eggs okay, okay. here this is our brine shrimp eggs let, let us just get a small amount uh, if you are not sure on how many uh, fishes are you going to feed or if it will be enough uh, just put um, this amount so that you can just adjust on your next batch okay the buoyancy let us just okay now let it we should really have something that could hold this hose into place okay yeah. that is basically our uh, brine shrimp solution yeah. um, if you are having a difficult time hatching your brine shrimp eggs you could also add a pinch of baking soda but in my experience with this brand I'm not, I'm not having difficulty in hatching okay i found something that could hold our hose into place our airflow controller okay let's just put it there air okay now that is our brine shrimp hatchery setup so a little steering for those eggs that are stuck in the side so we will be running this setup for about 24 hours sometimes 18 at least 18 hours so that we can get a brine shrimp a baby brine shrimp okay so we will be back after 24 hours we are back after 24 hours okay let us remove the erosion and let the solution settle usually the hatched brine shrimp will uh, settle at the bottom and some unhatched egg eggs will be floating at the surface there now uh, let us wait a couple of minutes for it to settle as you can see after a few minutes our solution has settled and you can see tiny movements okay let's uh, let's take a look a closer look you can see those movements those are the hatch baby brine shrimp okay these brine shrimps are attracted to light so you can also put a light towards a certain area so that you can harvest them easier There, as you can see, there's that uh, reddish coloring. Those are the brine shrimp settling at the bottom. Okay, 
Now, let us harvest this brine shrimp. Okay, I'll be using a syringe with, in, with an air tubing attached at the end so that we can reach the bottom part. So, let us harvest now the baby brine shrimps. Okay, slowly. Okay. Then suction it. there here you can see our brine shrimp egg I mean brine shrimps this, these are hatched brine shrimps newly hatched okay they are all they are orange in color there then let us put it in a separate container and then we can harvest uh, another batch and so on okay so now we will be feeding our uh, beta fries these are my other hatcheries so, okay let's get this um, fine fish net and separate the water the brine the brine solution from the actual shrimp uh, I don't want uh, mixing the brine solution the salt solution uh, with my beta, uh, beta beta tub water okay just drain the water okay using this net okay there okay so you can see those orange in color those are those are the shrimps the brine shrimps baby brine shrimps and okay now let us feed them to the betas oh, say hello to my turtles there oops there okay there okay as you can see the fries are eating our brine shrimps so that is our video for today our tutorial video on how to hatch brine shrimp eggs thank you for watching and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing Happy fish keeping, God bless and see you on the next video. Again, thank you.